to be reading you the zoo is closed today. It was a warm sunny day with not much to do, so zoo, Sue and John walked to the Kalama Zoo. The gate was shut tight, all was quiet and still since and still since inside the zoo the animals were ill. A sign on the gate told the kids what to do, be patient and wait till all's well at the zoo. Then all of a sudden all of the sudden then all of a sudden from just down the street their old friend appeared, the zookeeper Pete. They urgently asked him if he could please say just what was ailing the animals that day. He looked worried and weary, weary, as he shook his gray head with a heavy head heave and a sigh. Heave and a sigh. This is what he said. Edward the elephant has a cold in his nose. He gets dropped up his trunk through a long garden hose. The poor bunny's ears flop down at, to the ground. Her ear, her ear ache is not no joke. Beth can't hear a sound. And Freddy the fox was having such fun, he forgot his lotion and got burnt in the sun. Marcel the monkey can t cannot even sw swing. His poor tail is broken and tied up in a sling. And Helen the hippo has cramps in her tummy. She ate a bad apple that she thought would be yummy. Our black and white zebra came down with the flu. Zeke lies in the shade, feeling black, white, and blue. Good job. Carlos the camel has red itchy bumps to the doctor's su surprise. Ha he has hives on his hump. And Larry the lion, he roughs, he rough, refuses Refuse. to roar. A tooth has had been pulled, and his mouth is still sore. Poor Fran the flamingo cannot sing a note. She gargles, gargles and gurples. Gargles. Gargles and gurples to soothe, the, soothe her sore throat. So now you know just why they are sick, but with lots of rest, they'll get better quick. Then Pete and the kids said their goodbyes. They sadly thrudged home. home with tears in their eyes. But the very next day, Sue and John got a letter. The zookeeper said the animals felt better. They shouted with glee. The kids were so pleased, but first Sue and then John began to sniffle and sneeze. Now they were homesick with nothing to do. So all of the animals came to see John and Sue. Did you like the book? I love the book. Awesome. How much can you buy this book for? For $16.99. Awesome. Thank you so much for reading, Lydia. Welcome. Bye.